This ain't the first time someone that uh, wanted to know you know a cheap way on how to do extensions uh, I know that usually extensions when they come already with the clips and stuff uh, they get to tend to be a little bit more expensive so uh, and I'd like to reiterate something like I mean we have a forum here like I mean on these videos whether you subscribe upstairs whether you post a comment right down here and I mean it's been 25 years I'm in this business here I am willing to share pretty much you know all my knowledge with all of you so if there's uh, any questions you have comments uh, I'd like for you to rate my videos as well uh, you know don't be shy and then we can get conversations going if you have a topic that I want to that you guys want me to talk about I'm more than willing to do so and uh, actually there might be some little surprises uh, for for whoever gets chosen uh, as topic of the week or topic of the day they might get little freebies and stuff like that so you know what I strongly recommend to whether subscribe or at least you know, get some ratings going on, at least rate my videos, post a comment, I'm moving free. Now, all that said, here it is. Usually extensions come out with pretty much like this. So they come out with the long strands, all depending, there's different sizes and stuff. So, and they open up, so they're not cut up or anything. So as you can see, like all the extensions, the dimensions, all you have is the weave. So here what I've done, I'm waiting actually for my model Emma to come around. So what I've done already to Emma, I've measured pretty much here in the back of the head. I did a couple of my measurements uh, by doing so. So uh, Emma's going to come uh, after and uh, we're going to be setting it up. So I'm actually sewing these things. So what you're going to be needing is to cut really pretty much the width of your first section, which is probably in the nape area, which is going to be pretty wide. Now because of the density of the of the weft, what I did, I doubled it up. So all I did is folded it in two. Once I folded it in two, I actually passed the flat iron so I really can get the nice bend on it. So now here is the first weft that I'm going to be sewing the clips on. These clips, actually it's a clips that you can get you know extension stores or accessories and stuff like that so these are pretty much the clips that you, you can be uh, using on the uh, wefts to sew so you'll see that there has four holes in them and uh, that's why you can pass a thread needle to it and so we can really sew things up on it all right so that's for that then what I bought I bought a kind of a thread but it's more of a ropey type of thread the threads important because if you uh, need to wash your extensions or if you need to uh, you know put spray and stuff so at least that the wire is fairly uh, is fairly strong so I have like a type of rope I got it actually at Walmart so you know something like that so I'm gonna actually have this length now, on this length what I did as you see is like doubled in one way and then I just put a knot at the end okay so now let's start with the extension taking my extensions now the best thing is to do is really actually to take the piece where you know it, they're not bounded we're not the fold is so this is where the fold is so I'm taking this piece and I'll be putting my clip now the clip is always think of the clip how it's going to go on the round of the head so this is the way I'm going to be putting my clip so see when I close my clip hold on let me show you this a little better so when I close my clip this is where my hair is going to stand so this is how I'm going to install the clip Now I'm not going to install the clip while it's open I'm going to install it while it's closed uh, reason being as well the hair doesn't get too much in it and stuff like that so so I'm going to be holding my little section here hold on just dropped the needle and thread so what I'm going to be doing is okay, I'm going to so be I installed in. one, but actually it was kind of moving. I just checked out on the video that it was a little bit moving on the thing. So <laughs> I'm actually going to redo one without trying to move. So again, here's the clip. This is the clip. This is how it's going to get clipped. So, you know, always put it on the right order. So if you come and see here on the weft, this is how it's going to go right down here. So don't do it upside down. So close this, put it down onto where the weft is. I'm going to try and really keep it stable so you all see how to do it. 
then I do take my two, I fold my two lines, take my clip, put it there, and then pass my thread to it. You know what you could actually do even more simpler is pass your thread right away through it so you, you don't have an issue or a problem. And then while you had that knot that it just holds, then you can thread it through here. I'm really not good at sewing, so. All right, there, here goes. I'm keeping that around. There we go, so we got that started. Now, you see here, this is where I'm going to go on my next, on the next one. It's going to be here, pulling it through. So there, I'm starting to get a nice tight feel around it. You can actually pass it in the hole again if you want, and then make actually a knot to it. So I really get good tensions. Now once you've done that, once you've done the first one, see how I go through the teeth, I would say, of your, your extension. Pull it through, there we go. It goes a little awkward because I'm showing it to you. So that's why I just want to see you to see it. So you see I'm really putting good tension on it and just sewing about, going about it again and then just pulling it through here. Boom, there you go. So you really get a solid stitch on that. So with the strand about like this, this length, I probably put three, maybe four of them, all depending how solid you want it. So do that again here, nice and tight. There we go. And the last one here. Hope everyone can see. There we go. And then I'm gonna go into the other hole. See the hole that's right over here? And that's where I'm gonna stitch it right through to the other side. Right to where the stitch is. You see where the stitch is? So it's going right on the other side. Pull that through. Pull my thread around. Boom. And then what I do is I pass it through here, just like to create a type of knot. And tighten that real good. I'm actually gonna do it maybe another time. There we go, there's my phone. Actually it's ringing. So, once you've done that, all you do is cut your thread. Once you've cut your thread, you can still reuse this. So I'd use quite, quite a fair long piece. All you need to do again is do another knot and then you're away to go for the next section. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I'm Luigi Rossi, crazy stylist from hairstylesdesign.com. See you soon, man. Peace out.